we've done it. We have created the ENFP, the extroverted counterpart to the INFP. ENFP, huh? Sounds uh, sounds kind of like an energy drink. Yes, they do sound like a energy drink, but they're more like an energy drink of ideas. First, I would like to talk about what we've first given them, which is optimism. They enjoy life. They enjoy seeing the glass half full. They are full of sunshine and lollipops. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows, and everything that's wonderful. Yes, you, 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 you get the idea. Secondly, we have given them the ability to be idea generators. They are going to be like the Da Vinci's of ideas, or the Michelangelo's of ideas. They will help you brainstorm it. They see something fascinating out in the distance and they'll have an idea about it. Or multiple ideas. They'll have an explosion of ideas. Wait. Weren't INFPs also idea generators? Yes. Yes, that is. It is definitely something very similar with INFP. And it is going to be something very similar with all of the knee users and some of the nigh users. We'll get to the nigh users later. We're still working out the kinks on them, so you'll have to come back and check up once we finish them. But moving on, we have number three, in which they are empaths. Much like the INFP and other feelers, once again, we're working on the kinks with other feelers, but much like the INFP, ENFP will be able to tell you whether or not if you're blue and you don't know where do you go to, why don't you go where fashion sits, they'll bring you to put on the Ritz. Is there perhaps something you'd like to tell me? Some personal issues you might be going through? Fourth, if due to their empathy and idea generation and just them being extroverts, we have, we've made them into a bit of a social butterfly. Now, they're not going to be as heavily social butterflies as some others, but they are going to be able to network wonderfully. And if you need somebody to, you know, turn up to a party inside of a cake, they might actually be the ones to do that for you or to liven up the party with that for you. And a few confetti cannons. You know what? That 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 actually sounds kind of fun. That sounds actually like a lot of fun. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I'll be yes, I will agree, a bit messy. But that leads us to number five. Due to their idea generation and their their social capabilities. They can be rather spontaneous. You want to go on a trip somewhere? They will join you. You, you want to, you know, party it up somewhere? They will join you. You want to talk about things late at night that discuss the philosophical quandaries of life, the universe, and everything? They will join you. I mean, you know, what's, uh, what's life without a bit of chaos in it? I suppose. Fun chaos, that is. Which leads us to their adaptability, which I've already discussed a little bit. But once again, due to their spontaneous nature of wanting to do a bunch of exciting things, they are also highly adaptive. You need to get your homework done uh, in one hour, they, they'll adapt to that. A uh, car suddenly breaks down, they'll adapt to that too. All of a sudden, you need, you're need you finally finding yourself skydiving? Yep, they'll, they'll adapt to that as well. And need to herd a bunch of cats? I mean, you know, they'll adapt to that too. And probably love petting all the kittens. Because who doesn't love petting kittens? I mean, adaptability is good, but sometimes, what did you need a plan to help along with that? Now, much like the INFP, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, much like the INFP, we've made them horribly easily distracted. More easily distracted than a cat chasing after a laser pointer. They see something shiny, or something that interests them, they will typically get distracted by that and go after it to some degree, or develop a bunch of ideas based after it, or suddenly find themselves daydreaming about said things that they found themselves distracted with, despite, you know, needing to get work done before they find out that six hours have passed and they have not done a single thing. Because of course you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second, they are not very organized. It's like a tornado went through town in the room, and uh, don't tell them I said this, but they claim that they know exactly where everything is. Right. Okay, got it. They are not exactly the tidiest of people. I hope we're going to create somebody to counteract that. Third, they're going to be absolutely horrible at decision making. Especially 
even though they're adaptive and spontaneous, when it comes to things that they have time to pick and choose, much like the INFP, they're going to be staring at that for hours unless they have a strong feeling towards something. If there are five things that they want at once, but they can only choose one of the five things, they're going to have a horrible time figuring out which one of those five things that they want. I mean, I guess... I don't understand why, but I guess... Once again, sounds awfully familiar to the INFP. Yeah, you're, you're going to see a common trend with the decision-making with typically all the perceivers, so there's going to be overlap. But fourth, we have made them also sensitive. They, they are not about the bad vibes. They'll check a vibe. If that vibe is bad, they aim for the bad vibe. Even if that means going off on their own. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have made them more fickle than a teenager deciding whether or not they are going to do their homework on a Friday night when they could be doing something a lot more fun. They've got a lot of projects on the go. They've got a lot of ideas on the go. They've got a lot of everything on the go. Too bad they're not going to be finishing most of them. So how are they supposed to get their next big project done if they leave it for the next big thing after that it seems a bit counterintuitive to give them something that's a bit as kryptonite as that one is also these are sounding awfully familiar to the INFP and this is going to become a trend isn't it I mean yes this does kind of fall into that category of a lot of similar traits with the INFP like mentioned before but with uh enfp why not add a bit of splash of chaos into the mix and with that being said on to create the next one